I'm Caitlin Mitchell, Assistant Arab U.S. Glass Magazine, and thanks for turning in to USGNN November Newscast. This month, we traveled to San Francisco for the 2012 Greenville Conference. At the conference, we were able to interview exhibitors about their latest green products. I'd like to present to you Frameworks. Frameworks is a line of interior aluminum doors, frames, and windows. Um, it's been a, a new endeavor for Asa Aboy. It's a, it's a recent acquisition that we had at the beginning of, of this year. And so we're learning a lot more about aluminum and, and the whole glazing market. Uh, we think that that's a great opportunity for us. It's a natural fit with our product line. Well, we sort of specialize in translucent panel daylighting systems. So everything from uh, aluminum frame systems to our newest, which is a pultruded fiberglass framing. Uh, a little better thermal performance, condensation resistance is quite a bit better than traditional aluminum systems. We're showcasing Akoya and its end applications, which are exterior applications, which are essentially windows, doors, decking, uh, siding, louvers, and the structural uh, bridges as well. Akoya is a modified wood product, which is sustainable, durable, and stable. In terms of its benefits, Akoya is class one durable. That means it will last for 50 years with a warranty above ground and 25 years in ground. You get a, uh, the, the dimensional stability, so that means it shrinks and swells less than any other wood that we are aware of. And sustainability, it's FSC certified and cradle cradle gold standard, which is absolutely brilliant. Products offered by SAPA containing green features are extruded aluminum. Within the aluminum extrusion industry, it's possible to achieve 95% recycled content in the extrusions. Uh, this is done with post-consumer scrap that's melted back down into the aluminum ingot that's used to make the extrusion. Uh, this only takes 5% of the original energy required to produce the extrusions. Also during the Green Build Conference, USGNN contributor Lyle Hill had the opportunity for an exclusive interview with Kevin Johnson, Mayor of Sacramento, after Johnson's recently earned title of Greenest U.S. Mayor in 2012. I appreciate you letting me interrupt you, and I happen to know, Mayor, that you won an award this morning as the Green Mayor of the entire country. I think it's the first, as I recall, award given, and so congratulations. Yeah, it's an honor. It is a great honor. Um, there's so many great mayors doing incredible work around the country for Sacramento to be chosen for the work we're doing is, is a great honor. And I'm learning that green people are pretty cool. So I want to be a hip, cool, green mayor in yeah. Sacramento. Yeah, our vision is we want to transform Sacramento into the Emerald Valley. Okay. We want to be the greenest region in the country and a hub for clean technology. Okay. So when you think about big time finance, you go to New York and Wall Street. If you want to play politics, you go to Washington, D.C. If you want to do Hollywood and the entertainment industry, you go down to LA, high tech, you come to the Silicon Valley. We want to be known for all things green in Sacramento. So we're, we're, we're calling ourselves the Emerald Valley and we've got a lot of great momentum and companies like Nick's and others are starting to flock to Sacramento and my job as a mayor is to make sure they're very successful. In addition to products, we also spoke with exhibitors about their predictions for the next four years in light of the presidential election. Next four years will be a bit challenging, as I'm, I'm sure most people would think. Uh, within our industry, we're looking for some moderate improvements for the demand of aluminum uh, between green codes driving this on the building side and the automotive cafe standards raising the mileage per car. Uh, the aluminum content per vehicle is going up, so we see this as a very positive gain for the extrusion marketplace. The changes, I think, are going to be really paramount for the economy moving forward in the construction industry is going to be the easing of lending practices with banks, both in the commercial aspect or the commercial um, sector and the residential sector. Obama's re-election, I think, is certainly, I think, bodes well for the whole green movement. Um, his administration certainly has been uh, very kind and favorable to and supportive of the green movement. So I think um, that will continue and there'll be more investment and uh, continued investment and more investment in the whole uh, green concept and movement from the federal government which will help drive the entire industry forward. I don't think they'll still be strong. I think um, things like the green building movement, sustainability will, will continue to, to grow uh, the market, especially in our area in daylighting. Um, you know, I think as codes move along and, and people see the benefit of daylighting um, in all different types of buildings, I think it'll continue to, to get better. 
Thanks for tuning in to this month's USGNN newscast and our Greenville coverage. We'll see you next time.